Hey everyone, it is Friday, and I got a little bit different of a video for you today. Hey everyone, it is Friday, and I'm not going to do my normal vlog. Uh, I actually got something. I'm going to do an unboxing. I got myself here a new printer. It is a Canon Pixma MX492. Uh, it's a wireless printer. Uh, it is a scanner. It's all in one basic scanner. And the reason why I got this, it's a couple of reasons, actually. We have an HP wireless printer upstairs. Uh, to replace the ink on an HP printer is absolutely ridiculous. It costs us over $100 to replace the, the print cartridges in that. And the problems I've been having with the print cartridges lately is when you put them in, the software that HP gives you is telling me that they're only half full. So they're basically ripping you off. Uh, the, the, the black cartridge alone is $50 for, from HP. So the prices are absolutely ridiculous. So I did a little research and with the Canon, print cartridges are only about $19 to $25 a piece. Uh, this one came with the print cartridge, which they normally do, and there's probably very little ink in them. But through Amazon, it actually had a special where you got an extra large black ink cartridge with it. So that's one of the reasons why I purchased this. Uh, like I said, just the, the, the cost of the printer, this printer here is cheaper than if I had to go out and purchase new ink for the, the HP printer upstairs. The other problem that I'm having is with that printer being older, we switched from Verizon Fios to Cox in my house. And the Verizon router that I had was seven years old. I never replaced, that's the original router I got when we switched over to Verizon. Connected to the printer, no problem. Well, the new Cox router, I'm having problems connecting. I'm not able to connect the wireless. So this printer here actually has iPrint or ear, ear print, excuse me, ear print. So that I don't even have to connect through the Wi-Fi, I'll be able to print directly from my iPhones and from my Mac computers. So I shouldn't have any problems with the Wi-Fi. But what I'm gonna do in this video here is I'm gonna unbox and I'm gonna set up the printer so you guys will be able to see how to set this up and whether it's something that you wanna do. Uh, I haven't even opened the box yet, so everything that you see I haven't done before and to make it look good or anything like that. So there's going to probably be some problems with it. I can guarantee you. But what do you say we get out of this position and let's set, up, set it up and let's uh, open this box up. All right. So like I said, here's the Canon Pixma MX492. Let's get this puppy open and let's see what's in it. Alrighty, right off the bat on the top of it, or not on the top of it, on the side of it, says that it does not come with a USB cable. So that's kind of a bummer right there. Let me switch this around and let's take a look and see what it's saying it does on the box here. So basically it has a black cartridge and a color cartridge. It's hybrid ink, so that makes it easier to, I can actually use knockoff colored ink. Wireless printing, can print right from the mobile device, can uh, go to the Pixma cloud link. Uh, I can scan to the cloud. It's supposed to have a quiet mode. Uh, it scans up to 1200 DPI. That's actually really good to 36, 33.6 kilobytes per second. Facts. Wow, is that slow? Um, does ADF, uh, for the, um, the printing, and comes with a My Image Garden. So what do you say? We'll open this thing up and let's see what we got. All right, so I got it out of the box. Get it up on my desk here. In the box came this CD. I don't have any CD stuff on my computer, so that's useless. Inside here is probably the registration information. Let's pop this open. Okay, like I said, CD, that's useless to me. Okay, getting started manual. Safety instructions. And it's all warranty stuff. 
So let's get the plastic off of it. It sh should be pretty straightforward installing this thing. All right, so it, get it here. I got all the plastic off. I could take the tape off everything. It's all shipping tape. Not sure paper feed here. Open it up. That's your tabletop scanner. Okay. Open this up here. That's your paper tray. Using any card stock, you would use this. Okay, we'll close that back up. Okay, like I said, that's the scanner. And pop this open. Okay, and then I think this should lift up. Okay, so we we'll open this, pull that down. According to the instructions here. Bring this over to the back here. We've got a power adapter here. Phone jack. That's the ethernet and that's phone jack, but we're not gonna need the ethernet, hopefully, or USB. See these little black twisty things? Still wanna find the guy that invented them. I hate these things. These things, oh God, for appearing at Christmas time, these are the worst things that ever were invented. All right, so what we do, look. This end in here. Let's turn this printer back around. And let's plug her in. All right, so she's plugged in right now. What it's telling me to do is to turn on the power. Okay, now we're gonna do the setup here. Okay, so it's saying. Language English, correct. Okay, now it says to set the ink cartridge. All right, so now what we have to do is we have to set the ink cartridges in. So we open up the paper tray and open up that cartridge there. Okay, so the first one we'll put in, we'll put in the black one. So we got the black one right here. It's holder. So that's the black ink cartridge for this printer. I'm gonna peel this label off. And it goes in like this. There we go. There we go. Okay. So we got the color one out of its little tubby thing here. Let's peel that off. Now that I know how to do one, I know how to do the second one. So those are all set in there now. Yeah. Okay. Oops. Close that. We'll close that. Okay. Okay, it's asking me to load some paper in here. All right, so we got some paper here. Load it in the tray. Let me get everything out. Oops. Set the width. Pop that in. I'm gonna scan something. See how it works. I just wanna see how this thing prints. So, scan mode, okay. Okay, let's go, we'll just go black, so we'll go start. That's okay. So it's scanning right now. Takes in the paper. Okay, there's a quick copy. That's what it copied from. 
So, okay, happy with that. All right, so now what I have to do is I have to enter in the password, which I'm not gonna show you. All right, so while we're waiting, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check to see if the printer is picked up by um, AirPlay. Let's go to a page here with a lot of text. Uh, I don't know. Uh, go to one of my web pages. And let's look at it. Let's look at it here. Come on. Look at the solar lighting. There we go. All right, so there's a little bit of text. So let's see if the AirPlay is picked up on this. Go over here to print. I'm going to select a printer. Nope, hasn't found it yet. All right, so I'll have to set that up still. All right, I think I got it all set up here. Let's see how this works. We're back into my website here. Let's go here. Oops, nope, I wanted on that one. All right, so let's go to here. Let's go to print. Let's go to select a printer. Okay, there's my printer right there. We'll select that color, da, da, da. all that stuff's right, and let's click print. That's one page. All right. There we go. Still need to take a second to dry. Not the greatest so for the picture, but for the price that I paid, this can't be beat. All right, so we're gonna go back through the instructions here. Okay, one, two, six is to connect to a printer, a tablet, or a um, smartphone, which I've already done the smartphone, so that's all set. The LAN's already all connected up. The USB, I don't have to worry about. I'm not gonna do that. All right, what I gotta do now is, right here we get the QR code. So what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna go into my phone here. Okay. And, wow, I caught the, didn't even come close to it and it caught it. Okay, so we're gonna set up the software here on my phone. Let's go to, not sure what I'm doing here. I don't think that's what I wanted. Let me try this again. Okay, so we're gonna go and get the QR code there. And this should be IJ setup, which it's not. So I don't know where it's taking me. Okay, so it's just showing the, the manual za. All right, set up. <clears throat> okay. All right, so this is just the manual. I don't think there's any software on here for me. What is this? This is MX 492. I'm in the T's. So go MX. Four ninety two, yeah, four ninety two. Okay. Got this in the USA. All right, so I gotta go to the app store. Let's get the print app here. So I get. Use my fingerprint for the ID. And we're going to download that. All right. Wow, that was quick. 
Let's open it. Let's see what it does. Uh, okay, we agree. Okay, I'm all set. Okay. Now you can choose your favorite photo and try it out. Print would like to access your photos. Okay. And let's see what's in my Dropbox. We'll use this picture. I'm going to blow out an ink cartridge on that one. So we'll select it. Okay, so one image. We'll go next. Oh, okay. I can change paper sizes and all that. Okay. All right. So we're all set there. That's how I would print from this, from my smartphone. So that's pretty good. All right. Okay, I'm setting up Google Print right now, so... Okay. All right. So what I'm doing right now is I'm going to register a Google Cloud print. So we'll go here with the QR code. Okay. Got to sign in. There we go. All right. So this is Google Cloud print. Let's open this up so I can read it. Okay. So it's going through that account. So we'll finish the print of registration. Okay, so that's now registered with, oops, file manager required. Okay, let's down that. Uh, might not have iOS, that's right, Google is, uh, ah, Google is Android. Darn it. Okay. All right, so now what I got to do, I got that. That's all that. I think I got everything all set now. All right, everyone. So that was the unboxing and setup of the Pixma MX492 wireless printer from Canon. Uh, I printed out a couple of, just a couple of small things. So far, it's a little slow. Uh, I really can't complain though with the price that I paid for it. Uh, I got this on sale on Amazon on Cyber Monday for $33. So like I said, this new printer is cheaper than going out and buying ink cartridges for the printer upstairs. Uh, and like I was saying with Cox, we are having trouble connecting to that printer. So what I'm gonna basically do is this will be the family printer. It'll go upstairs so that if anyone needs to do any printing, they can do it right on, right on this printer. Uh, so what I'll do is I'm gonna use it for a week or so and then I'm going to do another video and I'll give you more in-depth updated on how I like the product whether it's worth it you know all that sort of thing but so far it, it was an easy setup it really was it it's now yeah it took me only took me about an hour to set it up uh, one of the things that I like with this is that it has ear print like I was saying earlier also has uh, some cloud printing services so basically what that is, is with, uh, it has the Google um, print. So if I'm at work or I am away and I need to print something or send something to my wife, I can be anywhere in the world. As long as I have an internet connection, I can print to this printer. So I think that's pretty cool. Uh, like I said earlier, also this thing has a fax machine. I'm sorry, I could see my... The lens is going in and out of focus. I apologize. This is one cheap lens. Um, this also has a fax machine. I'm not going to set that up. Uh, it's it's I, We don't fax. So if it ever comes a case of we have to fax, then I'll set it up. But right now, I don't even think I have a phone jack near, anywhere near where I could set that up. So, but anyway. But, all right. So that was the unboxing of the Pixma MX. 492 Canon wireless printer. Hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button down on the bottom here. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, 
please click the subscribe channel over the subscribe channel the subscribe button over there if you click that bell icon right next to it you'll get a notification anytime i put up a video uh leave me comments below if you have any questions on the product please leave me comments below i'll do my best to answer them if not i'll try to point you out to the right direction of where to get the answers for that so thanks again for watching i do appreciate it and i hope to see you guys real soon